Welcome to Fighting Stats, the ultimate channel for MMA fans who love statistics and betting breakdowns. I'm your host, Art C, and I'm here to get you ready for the upcoming UFC fights. In this series, I'll be watching tape and providing my real-time analysis on how I think the fights are going to go. I'll be watching for fighters' strengths, weaknesses, tendencies, and overall strategies, pairing that with Fighting Stats' exclusive UFC stats not available anywhere else to give you a prediction on how I think the fights are going to go and, ultimately, who's going to win. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to Fighting Stats. Welcome back to Fighting Stats. I'm your host, Art C, and today we are continuing on the fight tape of Armin Sarukian. Here he takes on the number four ranked Benil Darius, so definitely moving up in the rankings here, coming in as the eighth ranked. Armin Sarukian, even though he's the eighth ranked guy, coming in as the minus 305 favorite. So uh, Benil going to have three inches of height. The reach advantage is going to be somewhat similar. Let's see what happened in this fight here. Uh, Darius, only 34 years old here at this fight. Uh, again, he opened as uh, Sarukian opened up minus 175. All the money coming in on the Sarukian side, getting him down to minus 305 by fight time. Benil Darius, the number four ranked, sixth and two as the UFC underdog. All right, let's get this fight started. Aaron Sarukian looking super old here, but uh, again, only 34. Uh, big cage here, so worth knowing, opens up. So the first southpaw that we've seen uh, Armin face. So we'll watch the kick to the body. Armin loves this kick to the body. There's a high kick here for Dariush. Inside low kick there from Benil. Couple of jabs there for Armin. Oh, moving back there, a couple of left hooks there. Moving back from Sarukian. 1-2 from Sarukian. Inside low kick there from uh, Benil. Surprised I haven't seen body kicks or uh, kicks to the body from uh, Armin. Especially opens up southpaw. We've seen it in the Gamrot fight. Anytime Gamrot moved to southpaw, he was digging the body with a kick. Maybe he's afraid of Darius catch catching it and taking him down. Darius loads up with the uh, overhand left misses. Right hand there and lands a big knee up the middle. Oh, he's done. Yeah, woo, 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 woo. Big follow up shots. One minute in. Let's see some. I guess we'll see a replay here. So that was big. So he landed a knee right up the middle. Ate, Darius ate it clean and uh, followed up with some big ground and pound. Darius still down on the ground. Let's see some replays. Here he is. Here, grab the neck through the knee. The knee missed. The knee missed. Look, this knee missed. Glances. But we've seen this all the time where he throws. Yeah. He threw the knee and then he threw the right hand over the top. It was the right hand. And he drops. Right hand there. Wobbles him. Tried to grab the clinch there. Missed the knee. Landed the right hand. And you know what? We've seen this all the time. Armin Sarukin throws this left high kick and then he comes in with a jab. Or he throws the jab and goes with the left high kick. He mixes up his kicks and punches very well. And you always think that you block the high kick and you're done. Uh, you block the knee and sort of you're done. But he blocked the knee here and then he comes forward with the, the same side there. Uh, we've seen it time and time again. So here he misses on the knee, but right away he missed on the knee through the right hand over the top, landed with the right hand, drops Benil Dariush uh, one minute in. So uh, Armin Sarukin definitely moving up in the rankings here, maybe takes his spot in the rankings. Uh, but my name is Artsy. Uh, here he takes, uh, sorry, Armin fights um, Charles Oliveri coming up at UFC 300. We finished the Armin Sarukin side. Definitely they're very impressive so far from what we've seen. Hard to see many weaknesses uh, on the Sarukian side. So we're going to move over to the Charles Oliveira side, see what we can find out there. And then we'll get you a best bet. You won't want to miss it. My name is Artsy, and this is Fighting Stats. Thanks for watching.
All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure you smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Uh, you'll get notified anytime we put out new content. Listen to this. We just hit a massive parlay for $29,000 at UFC 297. That is one UFC after 296 where we hit a parlay for $82,000. That's back-to-back -back parlays. We've made $110,000. And how do we do it? We use our exclusive fighting stats, not available anywhere else. Our exclusive fighting stats gives us information, gives us a big edge over the sports books and tell us what's going to happen within the fights. We post all that information, our breakdowns, our best bets over at patreon.com slash fighting stats. Don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe today. Again, my name is Art C. This is Fighting Stats. Thanks for watching.